This query will highlight the use of aggregation in pairs. The most uh, obvious and common use of aggregation is, of course, to, for example, take a sum over some precipitation data to get the total accumulate precipitation for an area. Or you could consider um, the minimum or maximum of temperature or things like this. Our example here is actually um, a bit more technical. We're going to use um, aggregation to get a composite Landsat image. Okay? So Landsat is a very high resolution satellite. The price you pay for the high uh, spatial resolution is that the temporal resolution is rather low. And that means while the images are very high resolution, they don't necessarily cover that large an area, okay? at least for a single timestamp. And one way around this is to request a bigger time window and then just sort of do aggregation over this. So we're going to do this here. We're going to create a new query. Let's select from the satellite category Landsat level one. And here we can pick, for example, the red band. So now for the where, let's pick um, some area in central Tokyo. Something like this. And now, you know, we can aggregate this a bit over a few months in 2017. Okay, so this of course depends a bit on the account restrictions. Um, so now we do a minimum aggregation here. And we say Landsat 8. And we submit this. So previously, uh, we pretty much ran the same query, okay, for demonstration purposes. So you can see this here right next to it. So let's take a look what the result looks like. Um, and indeed, you can see here, uh, this is a pleasingly high resolution image of Tokyo taken by Landsat. 